Hello everyone. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is Monday. It is going to be a Paris work week in my life video. Working a nine to five job on EST hours living in Paris. I just ended my weekend vlog and now I'm starting my work week vlog because I don't even want to miss a second of this time in Paris. So yeah, um, it's actually, yeah, so I said it's Monday morning and daylight savings time happened over the weekend, this, this weekend we just had. And so the clocks, the time changed on the clocks and instead of starting at 3 p.m. aka 9 a.m. Eastern, I now start at 2 a.m. aka <laughs> 2 p.m. aka 9 a.m. Eastern. So I have less time in the morning, but it means I can go to bed a little earlier, which is nice. I'm going to, I actually don't know what my plan is before work today. I hopefully will try to do some grocery shopping and then just get online. I did so much stuff this weekend. So today I'm like, I need to stop spending money and I need to stop like straightening and curling my hair. You know, when you just have those days where you're like, I just need to do a little bit less today. Like you just get that feeling. That's me today. So today's just gonna be grocery shopping, hopefully, and hopping online. grocery haul in Paris. So, first thing I got <laughs> is pink toilet paper. The toilet paper here is pink, which I just, I love, because you guys know I love pink. And I think that it's actually because apparently in the US and other places too, I guess, the white toilet paper is like dyed that way and it's more like natural to be a pink color, I'm pretty sure. I don't know, don't quote me on that. I could be totally making that up, but yes. <laughs> First, I went to my local green grocer, I guess. It's just like the local tiny little produce one that I went to last time. It's like close to my neighborhood, and it's, I mean, it's in my neighborhood, close to where I'm staying, close to where I'm like living, and the guy is like so nice. It's a, it was a different one both times. They were both equally nice. Um, so I don't know I feel like maybe it's just like a, a nice like neighborhoody thing but um, yeah so he I got some stuff there first thing is just some leafy greens I'm going to make some like salads they put everything in these like brown bags yeah next thing I got is some blueberries like once again <laughs> 
they just look like this. Thought that it was cute and perfect. I love how there's no plastic in their grocery stores. An avocado. I love how their avocados have a little heart sticker on them. <laughs> I got a cucumber for the salad. Some tomatoes on the vine here. Also to put in my little salad creation. Two kiwis because I like to eat kiwis for breakfast in my last thing I got from this place. Yogurt. I actually really like this yogurt. It's like thick. It's full fat, which is supposed to actually be better than eating the less fat um, yogurt. And I went to Fran Pre this time instead of Mono Pre. And um, someone, I wish I like screenshotted the comment, but somebody told me to go there. You can get fresh squeezed orange juice. Because I mentioned I like orange juice, so I did that. It was cool, it was like a machine. I think I would have showed it, but um, it's like has the oranges and then it goes down and it kind of like rolls and it presses the oranges and then you just press it and you get this fresh squeezed orange juice. So actually, let me try this right now because I'm like really curious. Wow, see that tastes really good. I don't know why we have to all like, buy this orange juice from the store that has so much other like preservatives and crap in it this is just like fill your own orange juice it was it was fun actually i enjoyed it and then i just got some almond milk i still have this so i figure if there's a morning where yogurt just isn't enough or i want something else i can just have some cereal and i got two like bad snacky things <laughs> I got some sour cream and onion Pringles and some of these Nutella biscuits, which I was introduced to when I went to Rome and they're like, I love them. And uh, that's it. bit of time before signing on so I thought that I would just come outside and go for a little walk today is actually a national holiday in France it's November 1st so a lot of stores and places are closed but there's a lot of people out just kind of walking around it's nice it's like a very chill vibe I like it um, so yeah I'm just going to I think I saw a boulangerie that looked good so I'm just going to pick up a baguette <laughs> for the day and just walk around just you know enjoy some time outside before I'm cooped up for the rest of the day inside for work <laughs> and everything yesterday that I totally 
forgot to film anything else. Like, I think I just opened up my computer and work was so busy yesterday that I just like, it was all just a blur and I just was working, 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 working meetings until it was like midnight and I was shutting my laptop down. <laughs> so yeah, um, but anyways, today's gonna be a lot more fun because I am right now on Rue Cambon, or Campbell, I don't know, I don't know guys, I really wanna try, but it's hard. If you can guess, if anybody saw, well, if you know what's on this street, and if, especially if you saw my Paris vlog when I came here last year in September, you'll know that this is a special street because it has the, the biggest kind of like flagship original Chanel store on it. Um, I don't have any plans to buy anything because to be completely honest, I've been spending so much since I've been here and I really need to stop. But I don't know, I just feel like I wanna go and see it and I'm always someone who's like, I feel bad going into these stores if I don't have any plan to buy something, especially since they make a sales associate like walk around the store with you. It's like really awkward if like you just wanna look. But thankfully, <laughs> Jessica just doesn't care. She's like, let's go. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for her now. We're both meeting here and um, we're going to go to the store. putting up Christmas decorations that is so exciting oh this is super pretty I love like close up all these gold flowers let's zoom in oh, look at that I love Paris guys sitting on the floor I don't know what it is but I feel like in all of my vlogs I, I always just like sitting on the floor it's weird but yes I'm working right now we went to some stores we tried to go to the Chanel store just for fun and it was an hour and a half long wait so we were like oh no we didn't want to we only have so much time until we have to come back and sign on to our computers for work so we were like we don't want to waste this whole time just standing in line but jessica was like we can't just look around and then they were like yeah actually you can just look around like we were like yeah we don't need a sales associate necessarily like if we see something we really like and we're like actually interested to buy it then 
we will wait in line for a sales associate but we're like we just want to look so thankfully they let us do that um, so we did go inside and then we went to a couple other shops like the Jimmy Choo because I just had in my mind so I was like I want to wear sparkly heels on my 30th birthday <laughs> but um, of course the Jimmy Choo ones were um, beautiful but just not in my price range right now so I left them behind I did not get them but I did get something from Dior for Vlogmas so I'm not going to open it yet because obviously this is for Vlogmas and I'm going to be bringing it, bringing it home with me. I will just show you from the outside. I got the advent calendar. Uh, I'm so excited because I remember last year for Vlogmas, I like didn't really plan ahead and I thought like about doing vlogmas and doing an advent calendar and so I ended up getting one from Lotteray and it was like it ended up being not very good <laughs> like it was just like tiny kind of like cheap candies every day but this is Dior Beauty inside so I am very excited about that and I'm just hoping that oh because the thing is is that if you're gonna get a Dior advent calendar it is so much cheaper it's like hundreds of dollars cheaper here in France than it is in the US I think in the US it's like 600 or 800 dollars but here it's only 400 and then you get the VAT so you get bunny off so I think this is going to be coming home in my carry-on bag I'm really excited and I'm glad that I got it before it sold out also and then the next so then he also gave me some samples just because I was buying stuff and ooh, it smells good it was like if you go into a regular Dior store they might tell you that you have to go buy one from the like Dior perfume slash like cosmetics store so that's um, what I did. And they, he gave me this. It's like a little bag with the CD on it. It's it's clearly a very cheaply made bag, but whatever, it's, <laughs> it's fine. Oh, okay. So it's not samples, it's just the pouch. And it says, the main material of this beauty pouch is made from 100% recycled materials. Okay, now I feel kind of bad saying that because they're actually doing some good. <laughs> An iconic and timeless design that can be reused again and again as a must-have beauty accessory. Okay, all right, well, I guess I misunderstood, <laughs> but it's cute nonetheless. I always find that I keep little bags like these for, like when I'm packing, like I'll just throw all my hair clips in a little pouch like this, or really just anything else at any time, so cute. But the biggest thing is the advent calendar and I cannot wait. It's just going to make the whole month of December and Vlogmas that much more exciting. So I can't, I cannot wait. Um, that's my, that's the thing I feel like is like at least I am going to be really sad about leaving Paris, but at least when I go back in the near future, there are exciting things to look forward to such as my birthday, Thanksgiving, and Vlogmas, and obviously the holidays itself, Christmas in New York. So yeah, that's it, that's the update, but I, I need to get back to my computer. All right guys, good morning. I am so happy because the work week is over for me. Today's Thursday, I took Thursday and Friday off. Well, because it's actually, some of my last couple days in Paris. <laughs> I can't even think about that. But regardless, I'm glad that I took the last two days off. That way I'm not just working and I can just see Paris and leisurely kind of walk around and explore. But right now I am walking to go meet up with Jessica because she and I are going to have lunch together. We're going to this place that we found 
particularly for its French onion soup. Because <laughs> we both just love French onion soup, I don't know. Uh, Jessica definitely more than me. Um, but yeah, our meeting point is Gucci. Because <laughs> she has a Gucci near her apartment and it's right on my way to meet her from mine. So we're like, let's meet at Gucci. It's just a fun, like a fun meeting up point. What are you eating, Taylor? <laughs> it is a salad with a quiche, uh, avocado, and Yum. today so it's the type of day where you kind of just want to cozy up inside and just be under your covers and drink some hot tea or something um, just to warm up I, I uh, we went to the restaurant we both kind of agreed that eh, not so not so great and there was a wait <laughs> I believe it was, it was called well in an in American pronunciation it was called Jacob um, I didn't really like the area that it was in. I don't know. I just, yeah, um, and the food was not very good, so, but it's fine. I mean, I'm kind of at the, it was, it was a cheap meal, so that's good at least. I'm kind of at the point now where I'm just like, uh, Paris is getting so expensive and I'm kind of like, I just need to be done spending money. Um, so yeah, I, uh. I might go back outside later once it stops raining just to walk around or do something since I do have the day off and I want to see Paris a bit more before I leave. Um, I did stop on my way back to get a hot chocolate just to keep myself cozy. I love the hot chocolate from Angelina. It really has such a specific taste to it and it's very, very good. So I got some of that and I'm just going to hang out for a bit. I haven't edited this video yet, so I don't know how long it's going to be, although I do feel like my Thursday videos generally tend to be a bit shorter, um, and then the Monday vlogs tend to be longer, so yeah, I guess in that case, since since I do have to get this video live today, I guess I'm going to end it now, but I really hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video or, or just like the Paris vlogs in general. I should have one more video going up. Um, yeah, um, and I'll talk more then, but about like this whole experience and stuff, but um, yeah, I hope that you guys subscribe if you haven't already, and check out the Fashion Squirrel as well over on Instagram, and hopefully I will see you guys next time.